Watch out. I'm about to go all English class on your ass. Okay, not really. I'm not going to go that English class. Um, this week, The Novice, the second installment of the Black Magician trilogy. And I would have done The High Lord too, but again, I didn't have enough time to read this week. Um, so instead of summarizing the story for you, being that it's in, you know, the middle part of a series, I'm just going to say it's set in the first uh, year of Sonia's schooling at the Magician's Guild. And if you were to discuss this in English class, then I think one theme you might be talking about a lot would be acceptance. It's everywhere in the book. Sonia isn't accepted by the magicians because she's a slum girl. And she worries that she's not going to be accepted by the slum dwellers because she's a magician. Um, there's a lot of teasing and bullying that goes on for her. And gosh, reading it just like brings you back to middle school. High school, not so much. Middle school, though. Like, these kids are brutal. And, you know... I, I'm going to assume that most everyone has felt bullied or teased during their schooling years before, and so if you were, then you will definitely know the feeling associated with this. You know, the links that she goes to, to avoid her bullies is, you know... It, you sympathize, or at the very least, you empathize with her, but I certainly sympathized. Homosexuality is actually a uh, large part of the novice, and there is an openly gay character who worries that if Ambassador Daniel finds out that he is gay, or... <laughs> He is a lad, as they say, that he'll no longer accept him and no longer be his friend. And so though he's openly gay to his community, because the country that he lives in is more accepting than Kyrelia is, he doesn't admit it to Ambassador Daniel because he's worried that he won't be accepted for what he is. And let me see if I can find the quote. And she's talking about gay romance. If some, some people expect that if you're going to include a relationship like that in a story, there's got to be some kind of point driven home. Why can't characters just happen to be gay? If I had a point to make, it was only that I shouldn't have had a, to have a point to make. And I completely agree with that. There doesn't... That she and doesn't have to think anything about someone, some character, being gay. That's just who they are. And there's no point to it because there should be no difference because, you know, some people have their preferences for women, some people have their preferences for men. And it... I'm not really being very... I'm not making a lot of sense right now, but I I liked that that you know because it go it ties in with the acceptance thing. There didn't need to be a point because you should just accept and be okay with the fact that there is a gay character. You know? And also, I remember when I first read the novice, there were let's see uh, Lanmar is one of the countries, and the Lanmars, the native people, are dark-skinned. They live in a hot desert area. They, um, they follow the Maga religion, which is a very strict religion that is, 
uh, it's conservative and it's very restrictive towards women especially and at first I thought you know oh gosh stereotypical you know like she's basing it off of the Middle East and the countries in the Middle East and whatnot and I didn't like that stereotype thing but then there is a character who says that there are, you know, the, it can be a strict and kind of harsh country, but you don't have to always view it that way, that there are the Lawn Mars who aren't necessarily going to go for the public execution that they have, that they're moderate in their beliefs, and that they are willing to settle their disputes in private, and they're not you know, you don't have to be like, oh, whoa, different, crazy, scary. And I like that, considering that there is a lot of discrimination against um, Arabs and Muslims, which are not necessarily one and the same, um, and that you may not understand their religion, and you may not even agree with it, but it doesn't mean that all... Arabs are Muslim or that all Muslims are terrorists or anything like that and so I when I first read the novice I didn't like that it seemed stereotypical on my second reading through I you know decided if you're paying attention it makes a good point I think I mean you could say it about the trilogy in its entirety but acceptance is a really big part of it which I like I mean, obviously, who doesn't like acceptance? If you don't like if you don't like acceptance, if you don't, if you're not willing to accept people for who they are, then that's sad, unfortunate for you. Um, in other news, I like the idea of punishments and such, and so. But we still need to have that Skype conversation to, you know, work out the kinks and stuff. I am free a lot of the time, so I'm looking forward to the conversation. Yeah, there's the thumb. Um, and Tater, hello. Nice to see you. I'm looking forward to your uh, first review. And the rest of you... I'll see you all next week.